Hi, I'm Pamela Hunter and at Beauty School Chicago I promised many of the attendees that I would do a little snapshot of the mini practice that we did at the end of my look at me uh, presentation. So here it is. We're going to put our legs out. We're in a chair and we're pointing and flexing. Point and flex. Point and flex. You can do this laying down in bed. You can do this at your desk. You can do it with your foot up or down. But point and flex, not just five times, but like 15 to 25 times. Breathe in when you point, breathe out when you flex. So let's do it. So you can go as slow or as quick as you desire. Okay? Then ground your feet, put your feet. So you're sitting on the edge of your chair. We're going to move our spine, inhaling up, exhaling round. Spine flexes. You're only as young as your spine feels. Notice my head is not moving up and down. My spine is moving. Nice. So some of you, some personalities are going to say, how long do I do it? A minute is a great way. So just calculate a minute and do it. Then bring yourself behind a chair or maybe to a kitchen counter and lengthen back to a right angle and allow your body to lengthen your entire spine. Feel your feet on the ground. Elongate your spine. Let your head be neutral with your ears along your sides and activate your feet into the ground, lifting all of your muscles up into the quads, letting your seat shoot out, your navel in, and elongate. And then, those of you that are practicing this a lot, broaden across the upper back to give space between your shoulders to your ears and breathe. Nice to walk up, release that elongation, and then come back in to the lengthen again. So give you some movement through the armpits, through the shoulders, and get your lymphatic fluids flowing. Nice, coming back up. And last, the end of a day, or when you just need a little moment, come into legs up the wall. How do you do it? Notice I don't even have a yoga mat. That's because you can do this anywhere. Shoot, open up a space at the wall, shoot your hips and your buns back to the wall. Make a line and then roll up your legs. Have a little pillow or blanket there for your head. Just make sure your head is not lifted too far up and allow your legs to go up the wall. Your shoulders roll out, palms up to the heavens, if this is too much, you can have your arms as a field goal, but allow yourself to be legs up the wall for a few minutes. It feels lovely and it will help circulation, have you feeling grounding and centered, and it's a beautiful beginning inversion.